Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be doing a fish room update. Now I'm going to break this up into two parts. One, I'm just going to show you guys without the filter, kind of uh, go over everything that's going on here in the fish room, some changes, some plans for the future. And then later in the week, I will do a video specifically on the 300 so you guys can see the growth and all sorts of stuff. But I'll tell you right now, I started cleaning the glass and I gave up. And it's just, it's, I know it's blue, but it, there's just so much coralline on this thing. And uh, what a mess. <laughs> the tank itself is fine, but what a mess. It's probably going to take, I'm going to have to skip arm day for at least a week to get through cleaning this coralline. There's so much crap on there. I did start it. I did post on Instagram a little while ago that I'm going to clean the 300. I started it, and the uh, magnet is still over here. And uh, yeah, so that's as far as, <laughs> as, far as I got to starting it. I put the magnet in the tank. Huh, so yeah, <laughs> that's just the way it is, man. So anyways, uh, we're going to go over some changes that we have here in the fish room, talk about kind of some future plans, and uh, yeah, so let's go to start with this empty spot where my desk used to be. Now, I didn't get rid of my desk. I put it upstairs, re kind of relocated, reorganized things because I needed to get out of the fish room. I'm sick of being down here. All day, every day, ugh, it just wasn't fun. So went ahead and moved the, net, moved the desk upstairs, which was a huge pain in the ass in itself. And then uh, put the computer, the editing. I did put one 3D printer up there because I am uh, starting some new stuff for the business. You guys will see all that on January 1st. I'm adding a whole new aspect to the business and the website, and I'm pretty excited to get through that. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna tell you. It's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's not what you think, but it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out. So anyway, I went ahead and replaced it with this temporary, I guess, workstation. Um, I didn't want to make it too big because uh, wood is really expensive right now. As you guys know, with all this uh, COVID stuff, the supply is uh, really high, or sorry, the demand is really high, but the supply is pretty low. Uh, two by fours are like double the price. So I just put this makeshift uh, shelf here to hold the Ender 5 Plus, which is currently uh, finishing up a print now. And then I have a little workstation here where I can fix uh, this printer, which I actually have to reset and fix, or sorry, replace the nozzle um, it, it's finally dead I mean this is the fourth printer that I've ever had and uh, you guys know that they're 24 7 seven days a week and um, they've been they just they just never ever stop so it's bound to kind of give up after a while uh, and anyway so speaking of printers my plan is uh, either later in the month or the beginning of the year I will be removing this stand and then I will be adding a I guess how do I explain it uh, it's kind of like the same shelving system, a California kind of shelving system for closets, but it's going to be uh, kind of layered throughout here. I know we have the box for the um, the outlet there, or the breaker box, so I got to be careful. But my goal is to fit uh, 15 to 20 printers on this wall. Of course, we'll do the same type of hood uh, over here. I'm trying to maneuver this damn gimbal. So we'll still have the same hood, the same kind of... Uh, 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 plastic where we can keep the fumes in and get all that stuff removed from the uh, the room and uh, yeah so that's my plan is to put all the printers here I will be uh, having an electrician come in soon and adding a second or the last 15 amp GFCI in here and um, it's really close it shouldn't be too much that way I can have some additional power because uh, those printers definitely uh, pull out a lot so that's the plan we're gonna move this move everything here uh, put the printers and be good to go and hopefully keep up with the demand uh, because the like I said the new thing that I'm adding to the website is definitely uh, printer uh, associated if that's the word I'm looking for orientated I don't know it's one of those words big words man you guys know big words are not my thing um, so anyway uh, yeah that's pretty much it for that oh, moving over here to the printers it's the same old stuff they're rocking take, uh, taking care of orders um, and that's it I mean <laughs> it's just it's it's just generic stuff man so uh, we got uh, one two three four five six seven of the eight printers doing pretty good uh, again we have one down one upstairs and uh, yeah so I will be uh, starting to buy more printers in the beginning of the year um, it's kind of one of those things that I guess when I feel like spending an extra uh, thousand bucks to set up a printer and uh, get all that going then I'll do it and then just progressively work my way up to getting uh, the 15 or 20 or whatever I can fit on this wall so that's the plan and uh, yeah, 3D printing, who would have known, huh? <laughs> it started what, uh, for April, May, March maybe? March of last year or this year? Uh, 2020, what a year, right? Uh, and it just exploded. It, it literally is out competing uh, my coral sales, which I'm not mad about. I really love selling coral, but the 3D printing stuff is, is pretty ridiculous. And uh, I'm very thankful that it uh, turned out the way it is. Uh, can only go up from here, I suppose. 
Now moving over to my giant mess, I got uh, my barrel here, which I use for water changes, which I've been doing, of course, the awesome trash can. And then uh, my shelving here that I've uh, uh, just kind of set up, what, two months ago. So that's good to go. Holds the filament, extra 3D printing items, bottles, jugs, all that kind of stuff. And my plan is to put an additional one of those here in this spot to, um, one out of focus there, to actually um, have a little bit more storage. So that's, that's it for that. Uh, moving over to, I guess, the tanks. Um, this is where I keep one of my printers, or two of my printers. I have yet to, uh, to finish fixing them, so they'll be there eventually. Uh, the cutting station, the usual daily dosing stuff. If you guys want to know what I dose for my reef tanks, uh, just head over to my dosing video or listen to the Q&A. I answer it pretty much every time. The uh, importer system is doing pretty good. I haven't really added anything since I uh, initially set it up. Um, it kind of been it's kind of been sitting on the back burner for a while. It got a little dirty for a bit there. Uh, I just started doing some water changes on it, but it's pretty good. The uh, the zoas and everything are, are are I guess pretty chill when it comes to uh, if I say pretty one more time. <laughs> They're really chill when it comes to fluctuations and water parameters and stuff. But uh, it's doing it's it's doing good. I almost said pretty again. And uh, other than that, everything is good. Um, add a little bit more rubble rock to the uh, sump just to help with that beneficial bacteria. Other than that, no issues with it, and I will be adding some stuff in the future. Right now, there's just too much going on. Um, it's cool for Zoas. It's cool to get some stuff in there that I don't usually keep uh, in my main display. And, uh, yeah, so that's fine. Uh, other than that, yep, moving on to the really dirty glass. Yeah, you guys are just going to see dirty glass from this point forward, at least until we do the uh, other update. Uh, this is my WYSIWYG tank. Uh, yes, I am really low on WYSIWYG. If you go to the website, there's basically nothing. Uh, that's because uh, there's really nothing here. So I got to I got to change out all these racks. They need to be re they need to be cleaned. They need to be organized. So uh, I got to get in here and, and re uh, just fix the WYSIWYG section, uh, add a separate rack there, and then organize all those racks. So that's the game plan with this week, and um, hopefully... Uh, that will work out. If you guys are wondering, I'm doing uh, three uh, Tesla A360Xs over this tank. This is a low boy system. I keep forgetting that new people come to the channel all the time and they ask those questions um, and I, I should probably uh, consider uh, answering those more often. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, here's some of the test kit holders that I make for the 3D printers. You guys are uh, very supportive on these jokers. And of course, I made them all and I don't really use them. <laughs> I, I mean, I use the, the HANA uh, stuff, but other than that, all this other stuff is kind of just for display, and uh, yeah, I got the Trident, so it is what it is. Now moving over to the 300, again, it's pretty blue. Uh, Big Bertha, you can see that giant monster of a fish. Uh, she's, or he, I think it's a he at this point. It's starting to get the little little horn and the streamers, so I'm assuming it's a he. I don't know, I haven't checked, and uh, I don't really care. I'm just going to call it Big Bertha, so yeah, uh, he or she or it or they or whatever, whatever the hell this fish identifies as, uh, is jacking up my tank. Um, I had a huge colony, which I actually fragged up during a live stream, um, what, Thursday, that she ripped out of the 300. So it's basically part of this colony. She ripped out a huge chunk of it. Um, yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> She's just big. I can't really do anything about it. Um, I did go ahead over the last few days, I did add some coral back to this system. Uh, some red Monty, some green Monty, some green Digitata. I just, I've just added some stuff back in there because I'm not taking the tank down for a while. If you guys uh, have missed the live streams, I'm actually going to keep it up for another year or two while I figure out what I want to do with the new build and the house and everything. Um, it's just not the right time to do it. And uh, I think it's best that I just keep the system up and enjoy it for what it is. Uh, of course, fragging it all the time. And I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this little section here, given how the uh, green slimer is touching the glass. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to frag that. But anyways, everything else down here is okay. Trident, awesome as usual. My issue here is, besides me not changing my filter socks, is the calcium reactor. I will be doing a video within the next week or two. This calcium reactor needs to be completely clean. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take all the media out. I'm going to rinse it, get rid of all this. Just That's two years worth of just break down slime and nonsense in there. Um, right now I'm having a really hard time staying above 7.5 alkalinity in this tank with, with even with changing this tube out, which is the feed tube. Um, I, it gets clogged up pretty consistently. So I've been changing it out and trying to keep that flow rate as high as I can. Um, burning through a ton of media as usual. And you guys know that I can't uh, get reborn at the moment, so I'm using the ARM extra course. I just, I just ordered another four containers of that stuff. So my plan is to pull all of this uh, media out, clean the reactor, and then replace it with all new media and hope 
that I can uh, get enough flow and breakdown to keep the alkalinity up. I'm having a really hard time uh, with that, uh, with all the cutting and the growth and everything going on with that. So uh, that will be a video that I will be adventuring or venturing in uh, within the next week or so. Uh, as for filter socks, I just got to change my damn filter socks. If they start overflowing and I'm busy, I'll just pull one out, set it to the side, and then just let the water run under because, yeah, that's that's uh, that's where I'm at right now. Um, as for this little jibber jabber back here, this is my DIY um, CO2 scrubber. Had some issues with the BRS media. They sent me another uh, uh, bag of the uh, color changing media. I have a yet to test it, uh, but this concept works out pretty good. You guys will see a video on that once I get through the testing. I will then eventually turn it into a recirculating uh, CO2 scrubber. It just really depends. Um, again, with everything going on, it's pretty difficult to get in there and uh, make this stuff, but it's a cool concept. It works pretty well for at least a couple days, and then I'm pretty sure the media dies at that, po that point. Without this particular batch, I wasn't getting any color changing. So. Yep, we'll see how that turns out. Other than that, everything else is good. Um, I do plan on uh, taking out all the sand out of this refugium again in the next week or two. Another video that's been on the list for quite a while. Um, the sand is just, it's collecting detritus. It's a huge mess. Um, I am getting a little bit of elevated uh, nitrates and phosphates in the system. And um, I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. And it's not my feeding habits. You know, it's one of those things when you're going through higher nutrients or an issue with your system you got to go through the process of elimination and the only thing that is kind of coming back is just the nonsense that's collecting in this refugium um it's just i think it's time to take it out what i'll do is i'll just pull out the macroalgae i'll do a, a quick 25 gallon water change and siphon out all of that dirt and i mean all that sand and everything in there and then go ahead and just uh, put the macroalgae back in there there's plenty of flow coming from the chiller uh, back into the refugium, which will cause that macroalgae to uh, kind of move and rotate within the chamber, uh, given the sand will be out. So that's kind of my plan. And again, that video will be out in the next uh, uh, week or two. Now, uh, as for the uh, UV sterilizer, no issues. Works out pretty well. Um, yeah, I got to do a video on that. My bad. And uh, somehow I got a frag of Red Monty on top of my Stylophora. How did that even happen? How did that even ha How do I have a frag of Red Monty just chilling with the plug? I don't know. I don't know. Scott's not been here, so I can't blame it on him. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty strange. RODI system is good. I got to change out these filters. Um, I am working on my own brand of filters. It's it's a process. Uh, right now, I got two or three chambers of the color changing um, resin instead of the cation anion in the mix bed. I'm just doing three chambers of color changing, and then I just rotate them uh, as needed. Uh, Fido Growing Station, got to rebuild all of that at some point, making some water here, and then the usual baloney that I got going on. Uh, as for the frag tanks, yes, they're blue. Um, usual uh, XR15s over the top. A ton of uh, Green Monty. I mean, this stuff is just ridiculous. It's buy one, get one free, by the way. Um, I got a frag, some of these frags. Look at the size of this frag. This is a red Monty cap, so this is going to ship probably today, but look at the size of this damn thing. So I got to get in here and frag some frags. So at some point... I gotta do that. Plus, I have a whole bunch of red Monty over there that I gotta cut up. But anyways, uh, yeah, the green Digi is buy one, get one free. It's been like that forever because uh, it's gotta go. Um, and then uh, what my plan is, as you guys can see that I started, this is just a small piece of the colony that broke off. Uh, I am gonna start putting these discs back in here and growing out um, colonies on discs again and um, just kind of get a little bit more out of it. I'm, I'm debating just straight up buying a 125 gallon, removing this whole stand, and then just putting another display tank there, uh, and then attaching it to the system and having just another 120 uh, gallons worth of uh, rockscape, uh, stability-wise for the water column, and uh, of course having all those SPS colonies in there that I can continue to grow. So I, I'm debating, we'll see, I don't know. Because then I gotta buy more lighting and just go through all that nonsense. Uh, other than that, uh, we're throwing out this old ass sump. Well, it's not old, it's just broken, so I got a bunch of crap in there I'm throwing out. And then uh, packing orders. That's about it. And, uh, you know, supplies and all that good stuff. But, yeah, so that is the uh, fish room and uh, the business and everything. Now, again, guys, remember the uh, the second part of this video, I will actually just show you the tank so you guys can see it. We'll just consider the 300-gallon update. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Everything is kind of rocking. I like the changes. I like moving forward. There's big plans. And, uh, of course, got to just, just got to keep focused and keep doing it other than that guys we are 14 minutes in yeah i'm done talking hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions about my uh fish room or my work area or any suggestions or anything like that or you just feel like talking shit feel feel free to put that stuff in the comment section and i will see you guys later with another video all right peace out fish room later